Okay, so we're going to open up SGP, of course, and then we're going to go into the Tools tab and go down to Configure External Notifications. So open that up. So here we already have email one uh, checked already, which is mine, it's all set up. So I'm going to use email two as a test to show you guys. So here I like to check four boxes. I like to check alerts, warnings, errors, and timed errors. I don't believe it's important to check status updates as well as heartbeat uh, because I don't want to get spammed by so many notifications. So I think those four are the most important ones. And make sure the, uh, the checkbox on the left is checked. And go into settings. So here on the top we have the address where you want the notifications to go to. So I'm going to put my email address here. You can either check or uncheck send notifications individually. Uh, if you do check it, it's going to send you a notification email for literally everything. But if you don't, it's going to send you a batch of notifications. So if you have like, for example, three or four errors in a row, it's going to send you just one email. So on the bottom there, you need to put some information regarding uh, where the email will come from. So I'm going to put my own email. So it's going to actually come from my own email address. And just put your email password. So just trust SGP on that. So if you have a Gmail or Yahoo or Hotmail address, it should automatically populate the server and port boxes there. If not, you can look it up on Google. Just Google the, uh, the settings for your, uh, for your email. As you can see, it's pretty simple to find. And then I'm going to add my phone number there, so I'm going to add a random one here because I want the notifications to go to both my email address and my phone number. So for the phone number, you have to end it with at and depends on the phone carrier you have. So me, I have T-Mobile and I'm going to have to add at tmomail.net. If you have something else, you might have to look it up. But for T-Mobile, it is tmomail.net. And that's pretty much it. So um, you could add more email addresses if you wanted to or more uh, phone numbers. But for me, that's how I want it. So I'm actually going to go to my main one here. And uh, if you want to, you can also test um, your, uh, your settings. So if you press on test, it should send you an email notification or a, a text. And if you have Gmail, you might have to go to your Gmail settings and allow less secure apps. So this uh, might help if your email is blocked. And that's pretty much it. So that's how you activate SGP to send you notifications through your phone or your email address whenever something goes wrong.